guys, welcome back to Clash of Clans Night. We are in our second part of our Supercell Supper Super Stream here on your Stink Pot Shack Show. We're getting ready to dive right into Clash of Clans as we're going to be talking about Town Hall 6 and how to maximize your loot. There's three specific areas we're going to be looking at tonight. It's going to be raiding, it's going to be upgrade strategy, and it's going to be how the heck do you do clan games at Town Hall 6 coming right up on your stink pot shack show First, guys, we are hopping into clan. No, yeah, not clan. Town Hall 6. So, uh, hopefully, you guys are ready for this. It's going to be another super lightning fast session as this is part two of our Supercell Super Supper stream, courtesy of Light for Supper and Clash of Clans. Whew, lots to say in a short amount of time. So, let's get right into it so the first thing we're going to talk about are is raiding so uh my army that i'm using here this is a pretty reliable army at town hall six as you can see if i go to my uh research facility wherever the heck it is oh man i'm blind there it is research facility i have everything maxed out except for wall breakers and the elusive healing spell which the healing spell is uh, good to uh, upgrade if you use a hog army. And hogs are still viable at Town Hall 6. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and request some troops. What I'm requesting is, hey, subscribe to Stink Pot Studios on YouTube. That's the best way you can uh, get a part of our Stinker family here. And hit that bell notification icon. So the next time we go live, you will not uh, miss out. I want you guys here. I miss you when you're gone, so come on down. Let's get started with our best show right here. Let's get going. So, um, I, I think I, re did I cancel it? Yeah, so subscribe. I've also upgraded my clan castle so I can hold 20 troops. I can hold a dragon, but you're going to see um, if I hit attack right now, by the way, um, a dragon might be useful for this particular uh, base because there's only one air defense to worry about. Um, but in most of them, you're going to have two to worry about. So if you do use a dragon strategy in your clan castle, make sure you attack a base where the air defense is going to be easy to get to. Like this one. Look at that. If I had... Man, that's good loot too. If I had a dragon, I would take that out. Wow. That's good stuff there. So we'll end that battle. So let's go ahead and I'm going to give myself some troops real quick. So that's why you're going to see it dip out. Look at that massive Town Hall 12. Stinkpot has him on his TH12 account. So let's go on over to there. And uh, let's give a Stink, Stink Shack show some good troops. Now I'm not going to use dragons. I'm going to be using level 9 giants. Because they are absolute beasts. At Town Hall 6 attacks here, so we're switching back to a Stink Shack Show now, and let's get a raid underway. I might have a couple troops to make, I can't remember, but we'll check that out. Level 9 Giants from Stink Pot, there it is. Are we close? Uh, let's see, we need 5 more troops. So we'll take one more Giant, get that underway. Giant, Giant, Giant. 40 seconds remaining so guys we have not looked at this base in quite some time I think the last time we actually looked at this base I was only town hall 4 so I I decided a long time ago that I was only going to use this account when I was uh, streaming but I quickly realized if Stinkpot, if you only upgrade when you're streaming you're never gonna get anywhere with this account 
So that's when I decided to go full force with it. And uh, so now I am constantly rotating my four count. So we got a Town Hall 6 now. We got a Town Hall 8. We got a Town Hall 10. And we got a Town Hall 12. The goal for 2019 and beyond with these four accounts is eventually I want to get them to the final four Town Halls. So 9, 10, 11, 12 is my ultimate goal for these accounts. That way we can constantly shuffle between them all for your high-end play out there. Because face it. These days, it takes maybe, a, you know, six months to get to Town Hall 9. And some of you out there, I'm sure, can do it even faster than that. So a lot of you that come to watch the show, yeah, you probably, you know, wish you could have seen these tips at your lower Town Halls. But it's not a big deal. But here, we're going to show you how to get to Town Hall 9 and even faster with all these tips, strategies, and upgrade strategies and anything else I can think of showing you in our final 25 minutes here tonight. So, like I said, giants and wizards are going to be good to be used and your wall breakers are going to be used to tear down some walls, obviously, and your archers are there to uh, supplement at the very end in case you are at 49%. You just need to take out one more building. So we're going to use our archers primarily in cleanup mode or at the end of the battle when we know we've got a one man can't stop hiccuping so uh as you can see my walls are only they're one level behind max so not terrible but you're probably looking at the base and like what the heck kind of a base design is that i am just trying something different it's not been that effective when we look at our defense look it's 100 100 100 all the way so uh but i this account is mainly used for fun it doesn't get a chance to do a whole bunch of clan wars so but look at the what's coming at me balloon attacks um even heroes so i'm getting a lot of hard heavy stuff thrown at me so but let's get into a battle here and stop wasting our time here actually i want to cancel that out and get my next uh, army fired up so we don't have to wait so long for the next one so here we go guys my healers are our healing spells are primar primarily there in the event that i do put hogs in my clan castle um, and when I don't, these level 9 giants are not going to need very much healing at all. So they're mainly there for the wizards. Keep them aligned because those are my damage dealers. So here we go. Uh, we're going to attack this base. And at Town Hall 6, you're very, very squishy, guys. So the first thing you need to do is use these emergency archer troops. Plop it down on this clan castle. Make sure nothing's in there. So nothing is in that clan castle. So we know we're in a good spot. And now we're just going to come at this base pretty hardcore now. Let's see what happens. You generally do not want to attack from these two sides with uh, these mortars there. Because then you'll have two mortars shooting at you at the exact same time. The range of this mortar right here probably extends to about right in between that cannon and the mortar. So if we just start over here, this first mortar is only going to be uh, shooting at us until uh, we get probably toward closer to that town hall. So let's get underway here. We'll start off with our regular giants, we'll sprinkle them out there. That way they're just basically a meat shield for these archers. Wait for that uh, mortar volley to go and then you plop in your uh, wall breakers and now you keep those giants alive. Now, on some bases, if you can get away with not deploying your uh, your CC troops, go for it. But uh, most of the time, you might have to deploy them. Let's see if we can keep these giants alive, though. Um, we'll have to see. It doesn't look like these giants are going to make it too far, though. So, um, let's go ahead and put them in here. And we'll put... Uh, get the attention of that defense because they're going to bust through those butter walls pretty quick. Look at that. Two hit, two volleys. Three volleys is all it took for them to level nine giants to get in. And now I still have these wizards coming in behind. And that's why I deployed those wizards over here because I knew those wizards were going to be swinging around. So you always want to anticipate where um, those giant or wizards are going to go. And now the only thing that's really going to stop this battle from going nowhere is if that wizard tower can take out the level 9 giants. It will not. So all I needed to use of my emergency archer troops was that one archer to test the, the, uh, the clan castle. But now look at those level 9 giants just absolutely destroying this base. And that's going to be a 3-star victory. Woo! 
good stuff, huh? I really love getting to uh, the meat and bolts, meat and potatoes of these attacks. Because it's so, once you've been playing this game for five, six years like I have, you really, uh, you forget how easy these attacks are. But sometimes, guys, you can get overconfident and you can easily tank on, on an easy base. So, don't get too cocky, kid. Uh, just stick to your mechanics and that's how you raid. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is clan games. Um, we've maxed out our rewards. So thank you, Late for Supper, Clash of Clans. If you're interested in a clan, you want to, if your clan isn't pulling its weight and you have a hard time uh, maxing out your clan games, consider coming on over to Late for Supper. We're a, we just got a clan level 11 a couple weeks ago because of the War League that came out. So a big congratulations to those guys for helping us get to clan level 11 and we're on our way so late for supper is where you need to be for clan games come on over so i have this underway gather a total of 600 destruction so um let's talk about the challenges that you should be able to do as a as a uh, town hall six obviously i've started this one so any destruction percentage wise um, is going to be a good uh, matchup for Town Hall 6. The only ones I would caution against are the percentages that only give you an hour. Because uh, you may not be able to do enough uh, damage or not have enough time to get those done. But this is another one that's viable for Town Hall 6. All you got to do is get three stars from multiplayers. Well, we just did that one. Uh, collect three stars from Versus. That's another one because only stars earned in the first 60 seconds count. So if we go on over to our builder base, um, we're rocking all archers right now. Let's see if we can't upgrade them. Oh, yes. Let's upgrade this bad boys to level six. And that will really help in that one when I get around to it for clan games. Let's get back to the other challenges. See what else could be in here. We're not going to be able to do this one, obviously. Giant cannon. Um, those are your mid-tier uh, builder base defenses. So... Don't suggest doing that one because you're just not going to have access to it to even attack. And even if you do attack with it, you pr you probably already know what you're doing because you had to trophy push like a beast just to get up there. This one's not going to be very viable either because your first hero does not become available to you until, uh, what is it? Town Hall 7, you finally get the Barbarian King and he can only max out at level 5 at Town Hall 7. So, to knock out 100 levels worth of heroes in multiplayer battles, you would have to exclusively fight Town Hall 9s and 10s. And even if you could find bases that high, you're, it's going to take you at least uh, 10 attacks in order to knock out 100 levels worth of heroes in multiplayer battles. Leave that one for your Town Hall 9, 10s, 11s, and 12s because, you know, especially as my Town Hall 12, when I go against a level 50 heroes, heroes, I can do that in one attack. But for Town Hall 6, not a good idea. And then the next one is earn three stars without using heroes. Well, hey, we don't have heroes. So Town Hall 6 is a good option for that. Brandon, finally our first newcomer halfway into our Clash of Clans. So how the heck are you doing there, Brandon? We're talking about Town Hall 6 claim games which challenges are actually useful for uh, Town Hall 6. C collect 10 stars from versus battles. Um, that one should be doable as well because you can generally, even if you get one star per battle um, at, um, look, let me just show you what I mean. So if I go in here and I do one attack, doot, 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 doot. Let's see how many stars we can get. If we can get one star, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we got these level five archers. And let's try and take out these defenses. There goes a cannon. Bye, bye, bye. Now we can move in on this uh, builder hut. And yes, that one, that's a free gimme, so it sh he should be able to get that hut and that adjacent army camp down. But oh no, he went the wrong way. He was supposed to go there. So now I had to burn another archer just to get that down. And now, guys, we 
we're not going to be able to knock out all those defenses. So, at this point, what you can do is either knock out these outlying buildings to get to 50, hope you get to 50%. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all out. I know my six archers can get that uh, town hall down before uh, they die. So, here we go. Let's get them in there. And here goes that town hall. It's going down quick. So that guarantees me the one star I wanted. And you're not going to get to 50%. So you're not going to get the second star. But that's what I'm talking about. And what I wanted to show you guys on that is, look. When you're this low on builder base, you have to wait less than a minute before you can go right back in. If your builder base eight like me... And you have a, your your battle machine is like level 15. You're gonna be waiting a good five minutes between battles. So at best, I could get 20 uh, battles done in an hour. But at when you only have to wait a minute, you could literally get 50 battles in an hour. So that's why getting 10 stars, even if you get zero star on a couple, it's you're not gonna run out of time on that hour, guys. When eight multiplayer battles in a row that. So that's a two-day timer. So that's a that's a difficult one, but it's worth 800 points. So it might be worth doing. Definitely doable at Town Hall Six. Same way with these gold storages. Definitely doable. Um, three hours is enough time. Destroy five cannons. When I see those kind of challenges, I go to my own base and I count how many cannons. So I got one cannon, two cannon, three cannons. So I got so that tells me I if I three star, I'll get three cannons knocked out in one match so that's gonna be a good one so guys that's why they make you wait to town hall six because it's you know you can't do all these challenges but you can still do a good majority of them and then the last one is loot this one may, probably i've done it before at town hall six but you gotta really hold out for the good bases you gotta have like two uh 500k bases in a row because you're only gonna have time for maybe three attacks in that hour so that one's uh, definitely a challenge for you if you uh i've done it twice here at town hall six so i know that one can be done so that's it guys your clan game strategy session and then the final thing we're going to talk about while we wait oh yeah i still got this army cooking eight minutes we'll go again let me request some troops let's see if there's anybody out there in late for supper lane that can give me troops brandon brandon if you can help me out buddy i definitely appreciate it any troops you want, any level, I don't care. So uh, now we're going to talk about upgrade strategy, guys. So um, what you want to focus on first, in my opinion, I used to be a defensive guy where I would build up all my walls, build up all my defenses, and then I would switch over on offense. Well, now with all the game mechanics and everything that's changed over the years, you want to focus on your offense first. So your offensive uh, priorities are going to be your army camps. Get your army size higher. And then the next thing you want to do is upgrade your uh, research laboratory. Then once that's upgraded, then you come in here and you start maxing out all these troops just like I have done. We're going to go ahead and get this healing spell going underway. So now I only have one more to do. And uh, then I will have maxed uh, troops for Town Hall 6. But my defenses, we still got a ways to go. I got, uh, oh, that one's done. Let's see, level four mortar. So that one can go one more time. Uh, my wizard towers can definitely go twice, I believe. Let's see, that's level one. That's level two. Yeah, so at least uh, to upgrade level three for those. Uh, my cannons are at level seven. So they're maxed out. But gear up. Um, you need... Uh, Builder base cannon level four. Let's see if we can get that at town hall six builder base uh, It might be possible. I don't know I Can't remember if it can go up to level four or not it, I think it can but don't quote me on that. So as you can see guys where are my archer towers at? Uh, looks like yeah, they can go up to level seven and they'll be maxed out. So I got quite a few uh, defenses going and then I got to upgrade my wall. So it's going to be a good uh, two weeks or more before I'm ready to go to Town Hall 7. So if you guys have any uh, questions about Town Hall 6, throw them at me. We have JH Plays Games here in the house with us. How you doing, JH? I, I have wrote down your uh, player tag, and after the stream, I'll go look at it. So uh, if you're looking for a home... 
uh, please consider late for supper. If you don't need a, a clan, please consider the subscribe button. So uh, when we get to uh, your town hall level, or when we cover whatever town hall level you are, you will be informed because you will be part of the stinking family. So get involved. Get in our community. We have Discord. We have Facebook. We have Instagram. We have Twitter. There's nothing out there in social media land that we aren't covered by here on the Stink Pot Shack Show. So get involved. We're still, our Discord server is pretty new, um, but we don't have hardly anybody talking in there. Um, I'm trying to fix that as far as being able to listen to Discord while I stream. That's my homework that I'm trying to get accomplished for you guys. But what's been keeping me busy lately has been the new format for the show. The show, as you know it right now, is going to be changing drastically in the next week or so. I've already got the new intro done. I've already got a couple new logos done. I've got I've hired an announcer guy to introduce me to the show. So we're making some good quality changes for you guys um, to help get us to that 500 subscriber mark. We had a goal of getting to 500 subscribers by uh, April 1st. So if you could help us in any way, I would greatly appreciate that. Yes, Brandon, we have a Discord. Let me get you the link for that. I'll send you an, everybody that's in live chat right now can hop on our Discord server. Um, the people that tend to go in our Discord server are late for supper, guys as well as people from our streaming community. So I'm just waiting for Discord to load. Sorry, I didn't have it up already, but I will get you uh, the link for it. Here we go, here we go. Stink Pot Shack Show. Oh, yeah. Invite, invite people. Uh, set this link, copy. Alright, so there it is. Here comes the Discord server. Discord server is a way where if you want to, it's a, it's a chat app and it's also a voice chat app. So if we're playing, if you need a buddy to play Brawl Stars with, hop in Discord and say, hey, anybody want to play Brawl Stars? I need a partner. And then you guys can either, you know, decide to go in the voice chat. But I have a voice chat available for every game that we play. So get involved in Discord and, uh, help our community grow so speaking of growing our army should be just about ready now three minutes three minutes three minutes anybody give me troops if not i'll go bu bug stink pot let's go bug stink pot and get some troops for us uh where's my cursor all right go back to look at that beautiful town hall 12 Whew. man stink pot that's town hall sure is beautiful mm -mm -mm. <laughs> all right that's my little intermission while I wait for Stink Pop to load here. Let's give him some. If nobody's giving me anything, we'll give. Oh, it looks like somebody did. Alright, so there we have it. Let's switch back. Maybe I missed those troops, or maybe I didn't request at all. We're about to find out. Yeah, I know. I, that's weird. Where's that request? Oh, somebody did give me troops, but there's nothing in my clan castle. Look at that. Nothing. Brandon, did you give me troops? Were you having uh, connectivity issues? Because I do know if you try to donate troops when you have a, like a bad connection, it won't show up. So I wonder if that's what happened. Because it says on here, look, it says I have 20 of 20. But obviously I don't. Zero of 20. Ah. <sighs> Let me just re-request again. Let's try this one more time. And guys, you may have noticed one thing. I'll show you when we get back to our Town Hall 6. Um, oops, wrong one, wrong button. Switching back to my Town Hall 6 now. All right, you may have noticed I have an incredible amount of gems. I have 2629, and the reason that that's possible is this is only available to lower town halls, but for three American dollars, you can uh, go into your Supercell shop. See, it doesn't even offer it for me anymore because I've already bought it. And this, by the way, 
I do not think this value is very valuable. It says four times the value, but five million loot, you don't really need that. I mean, if you wanted to get the Town Hall 7 faster, that's pretty much the only reason you need to buy this. Because um, for $10, you, you don't get that many gems. But what I was just talking about is for three American dollars, Supercell in the shop, they will give you one million loot and 5,000 gems for three American dollars. So... That is the best deal in the game as your lower town halls. And that's what I used in order to get me to five builders. Because having five builders at a low town hall, invaluable. I wish when I was a town hall six with my very first account way back in 2013, they would have given me options like that. But they didn't. And I had to grind real hard. And it took me forever to get, like it probably took people uh, a, almost a year to get the town hall nine now you can do it in six months or less that's the difference between having three builders versus five builders so definitely worth that investment i don't work for supercell they're not paying me to say hey go spend three dollars on supercell but i'm telling you that is a very sound investment and at three dollars um if you have to ask your parents for money Getting three dollars out of them is a heck of a lot easier than asking, you know, ten dollars or fifteen dollars for in-game items. Trust me. So here we go. Let's do our attack. So that one was all giants. We're gonna see if we can't maximize our loot because that's what you want to do at Town Hall Six. You want to minimize um, the cost of your army while maximizing the loot that you can acquire. So this army I'm using, it's like 40 to 60k elixir. So I could definitely go cheaper and just use all barbarians or all archers. But I am in the mode where I want to not lose the battle. But if all you care about is loot, don't worry about losing the battle. Just take archers in there and find uh, pumps like these that are completely full. Maybe take a couple of giants just to allow you to get to those. And then uh, just take out the the loot pumps and uh, move on to the next battle. And your turnaround time, by the way, will be so much faster as well. You probably won't have to wait at all between battles if you just use archers. So I'm looking for like a 200, 300k loot because that's like insane loot for a Town Hall 6. Let's see if we can't find one here. Thanks, Brandon, for joining our Discord. If you have any questions about it, there's uh, Stinky Chat. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Stinky Chat is the only text uh, chat in there. So if you, I have my notifications turned on, not during streams, of course. But um, if you ever have any questions about Discord, feel free to talk in there. I always try to respond unless I'm real busy at work or something. I'll, I always try to respond. So thank you for joining Brandon. All right. So this is what I was talking about. All their de defenses are over here. So we're just worried about their loot. So we're just going to go in right here. Crap, I forgot to check the clan castle. Where's that at? Get these. Oh, we got Teslas here. The giants here. Take out those two defenses. Where's that clan castle? Is it way over here somewhere? I can't. Oh, it's right there. Let's see if there's anything in that. Nope, nothing's in that. So we're good from that standpoint. Let's break in with some wall breakers. Give some giants some things to do. While the wizards come around here. Finish that off. So we're going to get the majority of the loot. We're going to go ahead and send our level 9 giants in there because those wizards up here are going to be getting in range of the defenses. So we'll let the giants catch up. And I forgot to cancel my archers. So I actually have 26 archers. So we're going to go ahead and clean up here. And we're just going to throw them all in here. Just to use our whole entire army. So look at those giants going strong. We're going to start healing them bad boys now because after that, they're going to bust through there. And uh, the, if you don't have them suckers healed, those wizard towers are going to eat giants alive. But thankfully, I got level 9 giants in here. So it should do the trick. Let's keep them healed. And they should get the job done, which will allow everybody else behind to get all the loot. Man, look at that. If we can get those mortars down, then even if the giants die, the... the my uh, wizards and archers will get the rest of the loot. You even have dark available. I can't even hold dark, but we're. Oh, there, I forgot about that Tesla popping up there. So, the wizards go that route. They're going to be in trouble. 
We already got our stars. So we've already won this battle. It's like we, there must be 99,000 gold. Oh, now the rest of my army is getting slaughtered because the giants are gone. But that's okay. We got to some good elixir on this battle. Look at that. 240,000 K. Not K. 240,000 uh, elixir. More than enough than what I need. So that's how you guys do it. Town Hall 6. We talked about raiding, we talked about upgrade strategy, and we talked about which uh, challenges are viable for you as a Town Hall 6. Stay tuned because in 5 minutes from now we are going on with our Super Cell Super Supper stream here on your Stink Pot Shack Show. We got Brawl Stars coming at you where we have unlocked a brand new skin and we're going to try it out for the very first time. So, uh, if I, you don't get the notification that I'm that the next stream has started, be sure to check back here in five minutes because we'll be talking about Brawl Stars. Seeing you in five minutes for Brawl Stars, guys.